Welcome back to the Detroit Red Wings franchise. We had a little poll up on Twitter. So if you're not following us on Twitter, you missed out. We gave you the choice of baseball, hockey, wrestling, or Crash Bandicoot, and hockey won out. So that's what we're playing right now is NHL hockey, and we are on the road to the All-Star break. We're going to be fast approaching All-Star weekend coming up as we're getting towards the end of January here. And we will have a three-game set with you. We're hoping to play three games. It's almost 2 o'clock, so... The big NFL game that I want to watch is at 4, so we'll see how close we get to 4 o'clock before we end it, but we're planning on doing 3 if we can manage that, and that would be games with the Minnesota Wild, the Calgary Flames, and the Edmonton Oilers. You can see where we're sitting at 24-20-2, and, and the standings will be coming back around here, and that's the Pacific where you can see... The, well, there's the Wild. They're all the way in 7th place at 17 and 23. And there we are on the Atlantic in 5th. So trying to make that uphill climb. But trying to stay in the hunt. So let's get to it. Red Wings. Wild. And then after All-Star break, we're going to do like AHL rules. We're going to switch to the white unis at home. And the other unis at on the road. Which is like the reversal of what it used to be back in... Hockey days. So let's see for the Minnesota Wild. I always like those. They're kind of cool. What options we got here for the unis? Could just give them the old basics. I always like these ones the best. Those, those are my favorite. Kind of growing up, those uniforms are always pretty awesome. But I don't hate what they got now either. I don't mind it. So we can just stick to the, just stick to the normal. Love that logo, though. It's a good logo. So here we go. Minnesota and Detroit. Jump in the comments if you're following along with us. It's NFL Sunday as well, so we'll try to do some score watching when uh, we have some downtime. We'll try to take a peek at some scores. Pretty much business as usual for the most part so far in the NFL this week. The scores that you would expect. XL Energy Center. There's Cam Talbot. The Minnesota Wild, the Detroit Red Wings. There you see Talbot. For the Wild, and we got Thomas Grice in goal for us. So no Mark andre Fleury. It's a Grice day. So here we go. Jonathan Taves and Nick Bonio starting it off, and it's going to be Minnesota possession. So here we go. Underway for Detroit Red Wings hockey. And there's Ryan Suter. Philip Heronik. Dishes it to Nemeth. And here we go. Anthony Mantha, our goal leader, gets checked into the boards. Mantha, quick shot on goal, turned away. It's going to be picked back up. Nemeth trying to work his way up. Bertuzzi over to Jonathan Tays. He gets checked. And Talbot will cover that one up. And we will get a whistle on the play. So once again, this time it's Erickson Eck, the former Minnesota Wild, with Bonio on the faceoff. It's won by Minnesota. Zuccarello kind of cornered a bit. Nice backhanded pass to Bonio, and he'll lose it. Nemeth, we got a delayed penalty. What's the call going to be there? What is this all about? Oh, a tripping? Let's take a look at the... The replay, they got Bonio there, and oh, he reached a stick out. And I don't know, some of the calls are kind of iffy in this game. That might have been a little iffy call, but we'll take the power play for sure. And Kaprizov. Another Minnesota Wild. We did some trading with them. Nemestikov, the shot turned away by Cam Talbot. Here comes the Mestikoff back up, passing it over to Nielsen. It gets poked away by Ryan Suter, and Suter is able to clear the puck away. Bonino on the penalty for tripping, giving us the advantage. Tyler Bertuzzi, Nemestikov, quick little wrister. Cam Talbot gets into the glove. 
And the whistle is called. Another former Minnesota Wild, Joel Erickson Eck. We picked him up in Kaprizov in the trade. I don't even remember who we traded over to Minnesota to get them. But we picked them up from Minnesota. And they've been doing well with them. And Minnesota doing really well on the power play. Killing this one off. Jason Zucker. Jonathan Taves. Taves with the slap shot. Scooped up by Talbot. And it's going to be clear. Nicely done by Kaprizov to not allow that one to go all the way down ice. Zucker loses it. Here comes Rasmussen. And Rasmussen's going to get checked. Loses it to Anthony Mantha. Mantha momentarily. He's able to get rid of it. Here comes Kirill Kaprizov. And Kaprizov dishes it in. No, knocked away. Jared Spurgeon will clear it down the ice. LeBron James, welcome, my friend. I'm glad you're here. Always here, like my number one fan. Jonathan Taves passing it to Mantha. Mantha, the shot turned away by Talbot. Here comes Taves. No, it's knocked away. Oh, they can't get it. Fabry could not pick it up. And now Minnesota might have a shorthanded opportunity. They do get the shot away. Grice turns it back with the pad save. Ryan Hartman goes with the backhand. Oh, a lot of backhanded shots, these Minnesota Wild players. Oh, big hit in the open ice. Down went Zucker. Here comes Minnesota. They're back at even strength. What a fast and furious five minutes it's been here on the road. Hartman gets the shot away. And it's going to be saved. Boogstad tried to come in there. Wow. There's our team leader, our points leader there. Anthony Mantha at 39. Erickson Eck. Face off one. Zucker. Can't get it. Todalski. Passes it up to Bobby Ryan. Ryan's got a bit of an opening. He is going to pass it. Oh, it's going to be blocked. Nice save by Talbot. And back to Minnesota here. We got a friend request. I don't know who that is. Uh-oh. There's the man that was just on the power play, Benino. Jason Zucker loses it to Brodeen. Brodeen taking it back, passing it up to Zuccarello. Zuccarello over to Brodeen. And Brodeen's going to waltz right in. Grice with the save. Darren Helm can't hang on to it. Oh, there was Detroit who had a chance. Stetcher. Chodalski takes it. He backs up. Darren Helm. Oh, Darren Helm gets checked. Here comes Franz Nielsen. Picked up right Brodeen. Brodeen down to Johansson. Trying to work his way inside Brodeen to Zach Parise. And here comes Parise. No, checked away by Stetcher. Back kick. Nemeth to Kaprizov. Kaprizov going across ice to Nielsen. Nielsen, nice pass. And saved by Talbot. So can't get anything to go yet. We got a message here. We are Venom. Okay. I don't know what that is. It's frightening. Face off one. Here comes Minnesota. Nemeth shot. Glove save by Talbot. Patrick Nemeth. And there's Zach Parise, who recently got released from the Wild. Parise and Suter both got let go after their tenure there. But here in this alternate world, they're still hanging on. So you can see what would happen maybe if they had kept them. That's what's fun about this. You can see the alternate reality. Oh, Parise. Nice steal by Parise. But an even better steal. Here comes the Mestikov. Vladislav the Mestikov. Shot saved by Talbot. Jared Spurgeon and Nemestikov kind of getting into it a little bit there. Jonathan Taves into the faceoff circle. Picked up by Rasmussen. Ooh, that was dangerous. Scoreless game here. We had some high-scoring games last time we streamed this with the Panthers and everybody. Thomas Grice with the cover-up. A 
Not much there on that replay, so we'll just move along here. Here comes Detroit. Here's Jason Zucker. Zucker, can he work it in? Oh, he was trying to come across. Turned away by Talbot Erickson. X slap shot. It's tipped away. Zucker takes it again to X. Goal, Jason Zucker. To Joel Erickson Eck, the former Minnesota Wild. And he gets the goal in the Red Wings. Take the early lead. Just kept hammering away at Talbot. And finally, set up perfectly. Zucker to Erickson Eck. What's going on, LeBron? Who's texting me? I have no idea. Some somebody said Venom added me as a friend, sent me a message. Oh, we got a big big update here. Le uh, Lamar Jackson carted to the locker room. What happened there? Man, that's going to be a big... Who's the backup on the Ravens? So we got the early lead here. Trying to get back to our winning ways. Started off the season really hot. Last couple of games. Haven't been playing as well as we had been early on. We got two referees in our way. Helm gets through and tried to pass it to McGrath. Now we're trying to regroup. Oh, still staying in the zone. Oh, is it offsides? Nope. Oh, big hit there. There's another message. Some guy twitched the... Oh, that's you, LeBron. You're sending me the message. What's going on? You're sending me message. I can't read. I'm playing the game. Darren Helm. It was turned away. Merrill Greenway. Nice save by Grice. And the cover up. What you saying, LeBron? Oh, are they on a power play? Did I completely miss them being on a power play? Oh, right there. Was that what the power play was on? They hadn't called it yet. Oh. He's heading out. That hurts. So Zucker was the one that got the, the penalty. I completely missed that. Went on the power play. Nice shot. Oh, well, I thought it was a nice shot. It kind of went up and over. So it's out of there. And you see Joel Erickson Eck first game against the Wild since he was traded to us. We won. I'm a big Joel Erickson Eck fan. He's the kind of guy who won't have the flashy numbers, but he's always going to be there. Kind of like a Ramos Ramirez. I was a big Ramos Ramirez fan on the Cubs back in the day because he was that same kind of player. He would always be right there. Love players like that. Face off one by Spurgeon. Uh oh. Oh, and there's a tie game. Well, that sucks. Was it Zuccarello that got that? It was Matt Zuccarello. Tenth goal of the season. That nods this one up. 1-1. One, one. Here we are from the nosebleeds. That guy's got an old-school wild jersey on. All right, we can bounce back from this. This tie game early on. Matt Zuccarello with the score. Erickson Eck winning the faceoff. There we go. It's, oh, Stetcher's going to lose it, though. Chalowski able to steal it back. Here comes Zucker. Zucker fighting with Spurgeon. He gets checked. Here comes Bobby Ryan. Open man. No, it's stolen away by Jared Spurgeon. Spurgeon and Stecker. Now it gets knocked in by Erickson Eck, the former Minnesota Wild, and Erickson Eck is just going to sling it up ice, and that's going to be an icing as they will blow this one dead. There you see Ryan Suter of the Minnesota Wild. And here we go for another faceoff. It's going to be Erickson Eck and Benino. Erickson Eck wins another. We'll take it. Erickson Eck over to Zucker. Here we go. Zucker's going to lose it. Matt Dumba. 
was in on that contact. Minnesota's playing hard. Here we go. Now we're in the zone. Erickson Eck, backhander Cam Talbot covers it up. Bobby Ryan right in Talbot's face. As that one is whistled dead. 1-1 one, one. here in the first. Final three minutes of period number one. Hey, we're actually winning some face-offs here. Trying to go for the quick shot. Here comes And Greenway is going to get checked and gives up the puck. Off the bench is Kirill Kaprizov. Hey, we're staying aggressive. We haven't, I don't think we've allowed as many shots on goals as we had the last couple of games. Here comes Nemestikov, and Nemestikov to Kaprizov. Can't get the shot to go. It's going to be blocked by Talbot. Great job by Cam Talbot with a couple of nice saves right there. Now Kirill Kaprizov to Vladislav Nemestikov. Nemestikov putting on the brakes, passing it to Filpola. No way, says Cam Talbot. Kaprizov with the check. Another check. Brodeen up to Rasmussen. Rasmussen dumps it in, and that is the end of period number one. We are tied 1-1, one one, Minnesota in Detroit. Let's do a quick Twitter check to see this big Lamar Jackson news. It's kind of a that's big business there that he got knocked out. Um, Yikes, apparently uh, Las Vegas Raiders are getting beat up quite a bit there. You see our shots on goal pretty even, so we'll take it. Yeah, Las Vegas getting getting that whooping right now. Other than that, yeah, Lamar is out of there. Who's the, uh, who's the Ravens QB? Let's see. Ravens back up. This is the backup, backup quarterback for the Ravens. Maybe they have it on their Twitter page. They don't even say. Let's see. Ravens back up. QB. Um, is it Brett Hundley? Tyler Hundley? Tyler Hundley from Utah, the old Utah quarterback. Okay. I do remember him seeing, I think he played in a, one of the games a couple weeks ago, so. What are you sending me, LeBron? Okay. Sending me a picture. All right, let's get into the second period. Jonathan Taves, Nick Bonino. Rice covers up. I don't know, we got a glitch going on. The, the fans are just screaming. Can you hear that? Oh, Bandino, good steal. Ooh, that could have been a nice wide open shot on Grice. Jonathan Taves, though. Manth, Anthony Manth out there without a stick. He needs to go to the uh, bench and grab one. Here comes Bertuzzi. Mantha, can he get it? Oh, can't. Ryan Suter. Nemeth. Shot turned away by Grice. Batted up and out of play. Face off one by the Wild. Chalosky. I don't know where he's passing that to. Parise. There's Chalosky. Stealing away. Erickson Eck. 
Nope, going back to the wild. Zach Parise. Parise got drilled into the boards. Here we go. Erickson Eck. Slap shot saved by Talbot. Still 1-1 one, one here. Valtteri Filpola. They'll lose that one. Matt Dumba. Back to Brodeen. Brodeen. Zach Parise. And there's a goal. No defense there. Parise to Fiala. Kevin Fiala. They went back and forth. Parise and Fiala just passed it. And Fiala found the back of the net easily for the goal. There it is, the pass back to Fiala. And right there past Thomas Grice. Nothing he can do to make that save. He was bouncing around like a pinball. So Minnesota will take the lead here. Two to one at home. Hartman got a nice shot. That almost went right past Grice. And it's poke checked away. Jordan Greenway takes a shot, saved by Grice. Here comes Cole, back to Dumba. Greenway over to Hartman, and no, they're gonna get another shot away. Come on, Detroit. Greenway back out in front of the open net. Chalowski trying to steal it. Greenway can't hang on to it. Filpola over to Nemestikov, back to Filpola. Filpola loses it to Cole. Hunt now bouncing around with it. He'll dish it over to Hartman. Hartman and Chalowski, Chalowski with the check. Hartman recovers though. Bugstad. Shot is saved by Grice. Nick Bugstad trying to get goal number three for the Minnesota Wild here. Valtteri Filpola for the faceoff. Faceoff won by the Red Wings. Here comes Filpola. Philpola goes over to Darren Helm. Darren Helm to Franz Nielsen. Nielsen to Philpola. Nielsen goal. How about that? Passing by the Red Wings. A whole bunch of passing. There's a big Red Wing fan. And Franz Nielsen gets goal number five. I think everybody touched that puck on that pass. Talk about playing like a pinball. Cam Talbot went from one end of the net to the other. And Nielsen put it through. And the Red Wings tie this one up at two. We'll take that all day. About halfway through the game, about two minutes away from the midway point. Faceoff taken by Minnesota. Zucker. Bobby Ryan. Oh, they might have a break on it. Bobby Ryan. Erickson Eck can't get the shot to go. Zucker backhands. Erickson Eck takes it. It's going to be saved a handful of times by Cam Talbot. Rasmussen now takes possession. Puck is lost. Bobby Ryan storming in. Erickson Eck back on control. Nemeth loses it. Heronic. Can't get the poke checked away. Don't let them get the shot. Oh, bad defense in Minnesota. Reclaims the lead. Oh my God, they're fighting with Grice in there. What's happening? Philip Zidana ended up getting the goal. Zadina had the big break. Yep, and got the score, and then Grice ended up in a big Minnesota Wild dog pile there. Tays trying to get control. Here comes Ryan Suter. Bertuzzi. Jonathan Taves. Taves, oh, was going for the corner. He was a little off target, though. That's a goal waiting to happen if Taves puts a little more on that one. Detroit now. Bertuzzi dumps it around. Taves and Anthony Manther back there. Johansson has it. Taken away. Here comes the Red Wings trying to move up ice. Erickson Eck. No. Cut off by Suter. Great job by Ryan Suter.
There's Marcus Johansson again. Fiala to Brodeen. Brodeen gets the shot away. Grice with the save. Oh, that's who we traded away to. Okay, so there you go. He was part of the trade. Of uh, We were wondering who we traded away for some of those Minnesota Wild players. Philip Zidane was one of them, and he got a goal on us. So there you go. You see Nordy down there. Darren Helm. Darren Helm has an opportunity. The pass, the goal, and we are all tied up. Franz Nielsen with the score. Nielsen won away from the hat trick. Scoring picking up here. 3-3. Three, three. I'd take a picture for the thumbnail. These will be the final few games before we get to the All-Star weekend. Nielsen's pass is intercepted by Matt Dumba. Oh, what a hit. Nice hit there by Hironic. Philpola. Oh, N Nielsen. Can't hang on to it. Nielsen and Dumba. Oh, how about that? Matt Dumba, the enforcer, getting roughed up a little bit, but he does get the puck in the end. Zach Parise coming in. Chalowski, nope. Fiala, Boogstad with the goal. This is insane. We've had a lot of goals scored lately. I don't know, maybe we got to fool with the setting. There's not this many goals scored in hockey. Nick Boogstad. Come on, Grice, you're right there, too. These are all good picture thumbnail opportunities, so I'm just taking them as we go. Four to three, Minnesota. Stetcher stealing it away, and we got a power play. We got a penalty. I think it's yeah, it's going to be on Detroit. A hooking is called. No, they call it on Minnesota. I thought they called it on us. Well, we'll take that. Ian Cole is the one that gets rung up for the penalty. So we'll see if we can't capitalize. Oh, well, that's not going to help. Hartman. Come on, defense. What is that? That's terrible. Nope. Spurgeon. So it's been a bad power play so far for our wings. Oh, Nielsen loses again. There's Hartman. Well, we'll see if we can take advantage. They were way down on the ice. Oh, what was that? We tried to go back and Kaprizov completely loses it. This has been a disaster of a power play outing so far for Detroit. See if we can get this thing going a little bit better now. Get the passing going. Nope, Hunt steals it away. Got about 44 seconds to go. Jason Zucker. Right in front of the net, stolen away. Matt Dumbo will clear it. Philip Peronic. Up to Jason Zucker. Tyler Bertuzzi, Franz Nielsen, Nielsen with the shot, and Cam Talbot. Not sure if he got in his glove or he just pinned it up against his jersey, but it's saved nonetheless. There's Bugstad, who had that goal just a few moments ago, and boy, he laid up Phil at Hironic, did Bugstad with that big shoulder tackle. Come on, Taves, get this one. No, Matt Dumba. 
Taves, though, fights it away. Here comes Detroit. Can't get the shot away. Zucker is going to back it up to Erickson Eck. Heronic almost went back off sides. Taves to Erickson Eck. Nice job by Minnesota covering up the goal. Erickson Eck gets the shot away and with a second to go in the power play. It's a save by Cam Talbot, and that will do it here for the five on Ford Vantage for the Red Wings. Matt, oh, what? Cole coming out of the... That doesn't seem fair. Cole coming out of the penalty box had a free shot at the goal as Matt Dumba took the face off and put it right down as the man was coming out of the penalty box. That's not fair. Oh, there's a shot. Oh, it was right in front of the goal. Talbot left the rebound right in front of the net and the Red Wings unable to capitalize as we head into the locker room. And Detroit is clinging on to this game down by one. It is four to three. And we will head into period number three as the shots on goal still pretty even though. This is one of the better, uh, better even outings that we've had. Sometimes the shots on goal usually favor our opponents quite a bit. Benino and Jonathan Taves for the faceoff. Won by Benino. Here comes Benino. Nick Benino. Nice pass turned away by Grice. Tyler Bertuzzi to Jonathan Taves. Taves to Mantha. Cannot connect. Our goal scorer trying to get it to Anthony Mantha. Jonathan Taves. Nice shot. Cam Talbot. Catches in the glove. Four to three, Minnesota. Face off one by Detroit, and I don't know what the heck Nemeth was doing. Call for a line change there. Passing, trying to find anything, and Zadina going to head up ice. Nicely done by her defense. Jared Spurgeon to Zadina. Zadina gets all the way down, takes a shot on Grice, and it's covered up. Philip Zadina. Brodeen to Dumba. Kevin Fiala. Brodeen gets checked. Chalowski now. Nice pass out to Vladislav Nemestikov. Nemestikov can't get the shot to go. He's drilled by Kevin Fiala. And we're going back up ice. Zach Parise loses the puck but regroups. Picks it back up. Chalowski passes it to Kaprizov. Kaprizov poke check. Can't hang on to it. Good pass. Oh, they call offsides. I thought we were all back on sides. Boo! I think that's a bad call. I think we were back on sides, but the referee's blowing it dead there. Who's going to get this one? It is going to be Detroit who ends up with it. And Chalowski to Stetcher. Got the shot away. Nemestikov trying to get it over to Filpola. Instead, Ian Cole takes it. Jordan Greenway going to knock it around the ice. And Stetcher will get his hands on it. Troy Stetcher passing it over to Merrill. Jordan Greenway stealing it away. Bugstad got the shot away onto Grice. Ryan Hartman is checked. Nordy's standing right there. Bertuzzi loses it to Cole. Jonathan Taze poke checking it away. Fabry to Merrill. Merrill goes up ice to Mantha. Mantha had nowhere to go. He gets checked. Mantha 
coming around the boards. He's going to go to Bertuzzi, who can't get it to go. Nice job by Talbot. Trying to go to Jonathan Taves. A lot of opportunities by the wings. Turned away. Brad Hunt all over the place for Minnesota. Merrill. Bertuzzi, shot. Doesn't make it. Rasmussen has it. And we're going the other way. Detroit had a lot of chances. Could not get the puck to go. We got 10 minutes to go. Jonathan Taves to Mantha. Mantha has a bit of an opportunity here. Trying to pass it up to Zucker. Bit of an off-target pass by Mantha. Mantha fighting with Spurgeon. And Felino. Good check into the boards. Patrick Nemeth. We'll take that. Here comes Patrick Nemeth. And Nemeth to Erickson Eck. He got cut off. Zucker coming around. Shot. Cam Talbot just gets his pad on the puck. And the save is made. And Detroit throwing everything they got at the Minnesota Wild right now. But Minnesota hanging tough. Cam Talbot's hanging tough. Seven minutes to go. Offsides called on Minnesota. Nick Benino. Face off taken by the Wild. Fiala. Uh, they called offsides again. Okay. Kevin Fiala called for the offsides. Four to three. Minnesota getting the shot away. Saved. And we got Nemeth. Patrick Nemeth in a bit of a shoving match there. Six thirty-three left in this one. Well, we can't buy a face-off win. Shot off target by Minnesota. Philpola, Nemeth to Darren Helm. Helm. Oh, Nielsen had a big chance. Could not get the puck. Grice gonna keep this one going. Darren Helm briefly loses it. There's the goal. Nielsen, that's the hat trick as well, and we are tied. Four to four. Franz Nielsen with the hat trick for the wings. Compliments of Valtteri Filpola. And we got a 4-4 tie game. I like that picture too. These are all potential these are all potential thumbnail pictures I'm taking here. So XL Energy Center, 4-4 four, four tie. Maybe get on our way to some bonus hockey. We'll see. Here's Benino. Chalowski. Dennis Chalowski. Jason Zucker coming off of the bench. Going to lose the puck to Ryan Suter. Benino. Whatever we do, Detroit, don't lose the lead. We want this one. Erickson Eck. Erickson Eck's got a break. There's the pass. Oh, he was looking for Bobby Ryan. Which would have been... The game lead. Grice, nicely done. Yeah, Grice has given up four goals. He's had a couple of nice saves in this hockey game, that's for sure. He has done a nice job. Woo. A minute 30 to go. Minnesota. Oh my god. Yep. Saw that one coming all the way. No defense anywhere. Minnesota takes the late lead. 
Kevin Fiala. Marcus Johansson. Couldn't be denied. Weaved in and out. Got the nice pass to Fiala. And Minnesota reclaims the lead. We got a minute 17. It's going to be a disappointing one if we drop this one here. Backhanded by Bobby Ryan. Fabry. Oh, it's oh so close. I think we're pulling the goalie. I didn't make that choice. I guess it's an auto thing, but we got to keep on it. Oh, we were so close to tying it back up. Bugstad to Hartman. Uh, come on, Heronix. It's an empty net. You got to steal the puck away now. 22 seconds to go for Detroit. Anthony Mantha has been relatively quiet today. Bugstad misses the empty netter. Kaprizov. Jonathan Taves. Taves passing it to Bertuzzi. With 10 seconds to go, Kaprizov just watches the puck hit his stick. Doesn't get the shot away. And Minnesota's going to steal this one at home from the Red Wings. And we drop another... Disappointing one here. The Minnesota Wild will take this one. Well, that's one game in the books. We got the Oilers and the Flames up next for you. That's enough of these highlights. That's a disappointing loss right there. Minnesota takes this one. I believe Edmonton is up next, so we got to deal with Connor McDavid and all that he brings. We are going to scoot forward. We'll sim. You know our rules. We, we play a game, we sim a game. Because uh, unlike baseball, there's no, uh, no, like, player lock or anything like that. So I don't think there's, like, any kind of, like, any kind of special thing where you could play, like, all the games but not be sitting there for every single minute, like, in baseball. Um... Yeah, it seems like it's pretty much a full game, so we just skip it. There's no, like, manager mode or anything like that. Come on now, just show us. Hey, we got the win, though. We'll take that. So we do get a win, at least, against the Ducks. And now, actually, we got Calgary up next so not Edmonton Edmonton will be our last game of the stream here so the Calgary Flames and Calgary is 22 and 18 so they're kind of right where we are so this one should be interesting they are 7 and 2 in their last 10 we are 3 and 6 in our last 10 so just trying to stop the hurt trying to do whatever we can to slow this thing down Let's see what different unis we got for Calgary here. Oh, I've always liked those. The all... Maybe that looked better against Detroit. They should wear black, right? Because the, the red the red and red might be too much. Those are kind of cool. I don't know. I kind of like those. those are that, I like that, uh, that word mark there. Those are pretty neat. The Atlanta Flames. We got the Atlanta Firestorm as part of the XHL, which we're going to get back to one of these days. Um, what the heck? Just put them in there normal. We'll just do the all red. The all red against the red. So everyone just have to squint their eyes. All right.
Looks like in the net. Who we got there? Number 25. That's Jacob Markstrom for the Calgary Flames. We got Flurry back in the net, I believe, on our end. We do. Mark Andre Flurry versus Markstrom. Here we go. The old Saddle Dome. Calgary. Alberta, Canada. Kachuk. Nice check there. Here we go. We got to get fired up. We got to get some wins. Detroit. Uh-oh. Taves. Picked up by Lindholm. Lindholm. Working his way in. Nope. Poke check. Lindholm back to Kachuk. Kachuk firing away. And Marc-Andre Fleury covering it up. We got a follow here. Mr. Wolf Black Johnson. Thank you very much for the follow. We're getting closer to our 50 followers. What are we going to do for our 50th? We got a big celebration. I still got to record uh, that video. You guys wanted to see my setup, my, my uh, gaming setup with all my little sports memorabilia. I need to make a video of that and throw that up on our Patreon page. Maybe after this. All my XFL helmets and my Kyle Orton autograph. Jason Zucker. Heronic. Markstrom. He's going to cover up and make the save. Oh, we got a penalty. It's going to be called on Detroit. It'll be called on Anthony Mantha. What happened there? Oh, Mantha got called for that little slash. And look at that guy. That guy needs to get slashed telling me so we are on the power play Calgary 5-4 Kachuk and it's gonna be a goal unbelievable way too easy Sean Monahan for the 12th time this season Goal for Monahan. And Calgary's up 1-0 here on our wings. Kachuk. Chalowski. Stetcher. To Zucker. Looking for Erickson X. Stolen away by Stone. We got a line change going. And my god, another goal. Maybe not a good time for a line change. Ellis Lindholm. Got the reflection got the deflection, got the goal. And now Calgary's quickly up 2-0. Uh, we knew this was gonna be a rebuilding project with the wings. We started off good. We have trailed off. And we cannot stop the hurt right now. So Lindholm takes the goal. Killington. Up to Ryan. Back pass. Nice save by Flurry. It's all Calgary. No defense here. Here we go. Finally able to break out of it solid check that was Uslo and we got the offside Uslo Valamaki with that check number six of Calgary face off one by Fiala Darren Helm Merrill, nice shot, Markstrom with the save. Anthony Mantha, he's up to 40, 20 goals, 20 assists. He's just even all the way all the way around, right? 20 of his own, 20 for his friends. Tanev. Uh 
Uh oh. Brett Ritchie nearly got the goal there for Calgary. Backhander, nice save by Markstrom. Philpola. Nielsen trying to get the backhand. Not going to happen there. Nielsen taking it back. Philpola. Now Nielsen. Ritchie takes it. And he's able to get to center ice and dump it in. Chalowski with the scoop up. Up ice to Zucker. Zucker shot. Markstrom. Nice save by him. Chalowski, decent hit there. Uh, come on, defense. There's Dylan Dubé who got the shot. Jason Zucker getting knocked around. Good Lord. They're hitting hard. Erickson Eck just gets it right in front of the net. There's Dubé, Dylan Dubé. And Dubé out to Monahan. Monahan gets hit. I Nemeth fighting with Monahan, and he got the shot away. Sean Monahan. Stetcher got checked. Jason Zucker right in front of the net. Backhand by Jonathan Taves. And the save made by Jacob Markstrom. Two nothing flames. And we got penalties called left and right. That was Nemethin. Who was that? Was that Mangiapine? My god, that got right there. Mangiapine. Andrew. Magniapine, I think, was in on that hit. It caused the penalty. So our second penalty. There's Cider in there, Franz Nielsen. Cider's been doing some good work for the Wings in real life. He hadn't really cracked the starting lineup in our world yet. And absolutely no defense. A nice save. My goodness. Dylan Dubé. Watches as his shot got turned away by Marc-Andre Fleury, but they're coming in left and right. Backland was in there too. And so much for us coming off a of fury after that wild loss. We're just as uh, lethargic as ever. And Ryan, Derek Ryan, Backlund, Flurry just wants that one out of here. And they're trying to clear it. Finally, Darren Helm is going to get stick to puck and clear that one away. Goudreau. Pushes it back up ice to Dubé, and Fleury will cover up what was a weak attempt at a shot by Mikhail Backlund. So, let's keep trying to kill off that power play, huh? Let's just keep that going. Goudreau. Nice glove save by Marc-Andre Fleury. Johnny Goudreau. Had a nice effort, nice shot, but Flurry with the glove save. Goudreau. Monahan gets hit from behind. Here we go, Merrill. Merrill, and he'll pass it. Darren Helm can't get it to go. My goodness, shorthanded opportunity for the Red Wings. Not happening. Kachuk, Monahan backhanded. Kachuk again. Flurry with the save. Flurry dishes it out to Stetcher. Taves, we're going shorthanded again. Philpola, no. He loses it. Nice job out in front of the goal. Not letting the puck get to Flurry there. Gets a couple of shots away onto Flurry. That was Kachuk. And Merrill is just going to dump it to Taves. Taves, and that will, that should kill off the power play here. 
10 seconds to go. Calgary, though, going to try one more time. Here comes Lindholm, and it's poke checked away. Nicely done. Mark andre Fleury, and Nemeth completely misses with that shot. Dubé with possession. He'll dump it over to Lindholm. Lindholm has checked. Chalowski, Dubé, it's covered up by Fleury. I don't know if Fleury meant to get rid of that, but he did. Chalowski to Sider. Passing it back to Killington. Over to Goudreau. Wild shot, not even close. And back in past the blue line. So Calgary's got to regroup. I almost thought it was going to be all sides on Dubé. Not called there. They got everyone back. Zucker got the shot away out in front of the net. Bobby Ryan has it. Now Zucker Killington picks it back up. And we're going back the other way. Backland shot is denied by Flurry. Look at this. Nemestikov, he had a breakaway, and it was poke checked from behind by Joachim Nordstrom. Lava Man is here. Welcome, Lava Man. Thank you for coming back. We got Lava Man here. We got LeBron James here. What a group. What a group. The best. Except our team's sucking right now. The Red Wings doing terribly. Kaprizov, backhand. Covered up by... Markstrom, Kirill Kaprizov. Minute to go in the first. An hour to go before the uh, next afternoon football games. Faceoff, picked up by Calgary. That was Noah Hoffenin. Fabry, can't control it. Hanafin takes it, and he's going right in. Good Lord, Flurry makes a save. Noah Hanafin looked like he was going to make this one 3 nothing. One second to go. We just got to survive. Oh, my God, they still got a shot away. Well, that's it for quarter or for period number one. Christopher Tanev got that last final shot off for Calgary, Just a reminder to always keep your eye and the Flames have the two nothing lead. Can we come back? We're gonna try. Oh my God, I got a phone call right here. Let me take this call real quick. We'll keep playing, but let me take this call. You guys keep watching. All right, we're back. Had to take a bit of a pause, and we'll probably have to take another pause in about 10, 15 minutes, unfortunately. It popped up. I left some bananas. <laughs> True story. I left some bananas in a, in a car yesterday, and they're getting re-delivered today at this moment. That's what that phone call was. wasn't expecting it, so that's what that first phone call was. So probably in about 10, 15 minutes, we'll have to take a, a quick pause for the banana delivery, but then we'll be back, so, you know. Don't mind me. You might have to just take a break, or if you're watching on YouTube, just scoot through. We're doing good, Lava Man. You know, I'll be do doing even better when these bananas get here. And I'll do even better if my Red Wings can catch back up. Ooh, how about that check? Here we go, here we go. Markstrom, gloves. Oh, he'd get it right back to it. 
Look at that. That was a bad play by Markstrom. The glove save. He put it down. He gave it right back to us, to Jason Zucker. And we got the goal. Terrible, terrible for Markstrom. The save. Put it down. Here you go, Zucker. And Zucker got the goal. So we'll take that. All day, every day with that. Here's Troy Stetcher. And that one will go out of play. Face off one by Killington. Free shot on goal right there. It's Fabric. We tie it up. Oh, where was Nemestikov? He wasn't anywhere. Come on. Nice glove by Markstrom. Nemestikov, nowhere to be found on that one. Twelve twenty seven to go. Merrill picks it up. Here's Nielsen. Philpola. Ooh, Markstrom. Markstrom making some nice saves out there for sure. Jacob Markstrom, Calgary. These face-offs suck. I'm changing the sliders again. It's like every... Pfft. You can't win face-offs in this game. I don't care what anyone says. Where's our face offs? I had to up the passing too because the passing was so terrible. Um, face off, face off, face off. Face off difficulty. Putting it at like five, and they'll still probably win a boatload of them. All right, we'll try that. All right. Bennett Nordstrom loses it. I want to see Anthony Mantha do something. He's been quiet. I guess he got something in that Ducks game, but he ain't done nothing since then. Just a reminder, we'll be taking a pause in a few moments for the banana delivery. Went to Target, picked up some food, left the bag of bananas right in the car. Couldn't believe it, so it's on the way now. Yes, they are. As our Red Wings are trying to tie this one up. Ooh, that was almost a goal. That was almost in. Lamar Jackson will not return to Sunday's game after suffering an ankle injury. That's rough, and for a mobile quarterback like that, too. That really hurts. Come on, Taves. Whistle called for an icing.
Stone. Half and in, back to Stone. Mag Magi Apani. I had to write that one down. That's a that's a hard name. Andrew Mangi Apani. Mangi Apani. Mangi Apani. If I can't call that, I see that name, I'm just like, oh, I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> that's a tough that name. It's a toughie. Stone. Kachuk. I know Kachuk because I was a big Keith Kachuk fan growing up. And the coyotes. Oh, Nemestikov. Tie game. <laughs> Nemestikov to Fabry. And we have worked our way back. 20th goal of the season for Fabry. Hey, we tied it. Well, they're trying to come back. Flurry covers it up. Get back into hockey play-by-play -play mode in a second. I'm just half waiting on this banana delivery. So my attention is half diverted, but Flurry's already got 31 saves, and there's their 32 for Flurry. So that works. 2-2 game, Detroit, Calgary. Another save by Fleury. What's the shots on goal? 35-13, to 13, so we're... It's a tie game at least. We're back to it being really one-sided. Uh-oh. Here we go. Erickson Eck. Bobby Ryan. Pad save. Aronic. Oh, come on. Bennett steals it away from Erickson Eck. Backlund. Bennett. Oh, it almost went past Flurry. Pick back up, and Calgary going to try to reestablish the attack. Backlund. Richie. Here's Erickson Eck. Bennett has it now. Poke checked away. Tanev. Ooh, is that going to be a trip? Yep, they're going to call it. Ugh, they're going to call it. At the end of this period, this is probably when we'll take the quick pause for the banana delivery, but we'll be back. So just give us a couple moments. If you're watching on YouTube, just skip ahead to when the game starts back up. If you're watching on Twitch, just twitch those thumbs until we come back. But the bananas are coming, man. I got I to gotta get the bananas. We've had different, remember the, we had the Diamondback game where we had the bug attack. We have the banana delivery game here. Oh, here we go. For the lead, no. Darren Helm just got eight up there. And that's going to do it. Hey, we're tied going into the third. We're going to take a quick pause. He had a bloody mouth there, looked rough. And we will be right back for the third quarter, so stay tuned, we'll be back.
All right. We're back. Thanks for bearing with us. Hopefully, if you're watching on YouTube, you're just able to skim right along. I don't know if you can edit that out or anything. I've, I've tried to edit stuff on the YouTube editor. It's pretty terrible, but the bananas are here, in case anyone's wondering. They have been delivered. I can't remember where we were. We're shorthanded, so we gotta we got to kill the power play. There we go. Yes. The bananas are here. The bananas that were left are here. So it's very good news for the bananas. And Flurry's still here. And Cider's here. And Nielsen's trying to short score shorthand, and he almost did. Two to two. Oof. I guess I could have put the delivery uh delivery person on the uh on the stream listen to them, but they don't get the I don't know the whole streaming world too much for them. So I just had to pause it. But we're back. We're back. Governor Reagan. Rad Fibideox. Radical Industries. Uh oh. Nice, Flurry. Flurry's made a lot of saves today. I guess we haven't really been doing a good job penalty kill wise. We're just kind of playing, playing like normal, but here we are nonetheless. And this is the third. We got Edmonton up next. Power play killed off. Here we go. Good check into the board. Is that Taves? That is, uh, yeah, that is Taves. I would love numbers. I want numbers. It's hard to see that. That's my complaint as someone that's trying to call the action. Can't see the numbers, but here we go. Anthony Mantha to Helm. I wish they would separate instead of bunching up like that. Mantha, though, nicely done, and oh my god, how did that save happen? Anthony Mantha with some tricky footwork got it freely to Jonathan Taves, and Taves is shot was saved by Markstrom. I don't know how in the world that happened. My goodness. Dubay with possession now. And it is quickly lost by Sean Monahan. And Flurry covers that one up. So there you go. Still 2-2 two two in the third. We thought we were going to overtime in the Minnesota game. We didn't. Hopefully we don't in this one either because we take the lead. Bennett. Flurry's probably got over 40 saves by now in this game. He's playing great. Richie. Richie got the shot away and it's covered up. By Flurry. Brett Ritchie. You see Sam Bennett. Ritchie just barely got in there, tipped the puck in. But Mark Andre Flurry made the cover up, made the save. Philip Heronic got knocked away, but Erickson Eck got it, and Erickson Eck will pass it. Was looking for Zucker. Oh, it went in there somehow. I don't know how that got through. I can't even tell on the replay how that got through. I guess Zucker's going to get... Let's see here. Where is it? It must have been saved and then... I guess Mark Drum just lost it or something. It went behind his pad and he lost it. And it went into the net. I don't know how in the world that happened, but we'll take it. We got the lead. How about that, huh? We're not completely useless. Goudreau's shot. Kaprizov gets hit hard. That should be icing. It's going to be touched up by Mark Giordani. Giordano, rather. Mark Giordano. 
Number five of the Calgary Flames. And we silly that we put the faceoffs down to a five, and we're still losing faceoffs here. Kaprizov couldn't get to Fabry. Giordano stole it away. Lindholm, Goudreau. Kirill Kaprizov. Kaprizov is looking for Nemestikov. And Nemestikov is right in front of the net. And instead, it looked like he got tipped by Matthew Kachuk. Covered up by Jacob Markstrom. And that's going to do it for that possession. 11 minutes to go. We just got to play defense. Only 13 saves by Markstrom. How many saves does uh, Flurry have? 40, oh my god, 43 shots on goal to 16. That's terrible. So they've tripled our shots on goal. Well, let's play defense here. Let's, uh, I guess it doesn't matter the disparity of shots on goal if we get out of here with the win. Bertuzzi taking a shot. Saved by Markstrom. And another cover-up. Ten minutes left. Ill advised pass by Stetcher. Trying to kill these final ten. Uh oh. Just oh no. That was almost really bad. It was stolen. Who was that? It was Josh Leadvo, I think. I think Levo had it and almost got that extra shot to go. Mark Andre Fleury continuing his furious day. Still can't win faceoffs. What the heck? Another save by Fleury. Nicely done by Erickson Eck. Killing a lot of time here doing this at least. Erickson Eck trying to get inside to Bobby Ryan. Doesn't happen. Backlin taking possession. Rolling back. Dubé. Back to Detroit. Jason Zucker. Zucker. Uh, just nothing really for Zucker there. Six and a half. Detroit doing a nice job defensively. At least they were. Oh, here we go. And yet still... Oh, just barely saved by Killington. Should say Chillington, rather. I think I've been saying Killington this whole time, seeing that K. Instinctively saying Killington. But it's Chillington. Oliver Chillington. So my apologies there, because I'm pretty sure I've been saying Killington this whole game with the K. But it's a silent K. It's a Chillington, Oliver Chillington, and Nordstrom. Another save by Flurry. Five and a half. Here comes Detroit. Darren Helm gets a shot away. Markstrom with the save, and that will whistle it dead. We've had a lot of stoppage and plays here. Three to two, Detroit. Can we hang on? Cider. Oh, what a shot by Cider and the goal. Morit Cider, and that should hopefully clinch it for our Red Wings. Cider from way back, slap shot, and goal. Four to two, Detroit. That's what we're talking about. Two wins in a row. Get this thing back on track a little bit. John Merrill's going to get the assist here. Kirill Kaprizov. Oh, Robbie Fabry. Almost got one more. Oh, it's almost 3.30. That banana delivery pushed us back. It's 
some NFL scores for the day. Get those scores. We'll read some off in between this game and the Edmonton game. Here comes Jonathan Taves. Oh, ho, ho, Taves got hit hard. Oh, my God. Taves got rocked. And Kachuk's going to get the goal. Matthew Kachuk. So that's going to close the gap here. Making it a little harder. Panthers losing. Browns blowing out the Ravens. So apparently the backup there um, for Baltimore. Not doing too hot. Seahawks barely beating the Texans. Chiefs blowing out the Raiders. Saints beating the Jets. Jags getting shut out. I need to pay attention because that was almost a tie game right there. Oh my god, it was almost a tie game again. Oof. Oh my god, we got the cat threw up on the floor here. Got to clean that up. So it's going to be another pause in the action. Oh my god, and they tied it up. Can you... I don't believe this. All right, we're taking a pause. We gotta clean the, the cats everywhere and they tied it up. What is happening? What's happening? All right, that mess is cleaned up. This mess is still going on. Unbelievably, Calgary has tied this one up. I cannot believe we blew a two-goal lead, and they're trying to go again. This is terrible. Zucker gets hit hard. They're just smacking our guys around. Please let this thing go into overtime. I don't think I can handle it if we completely blow this one. Bobby Ryan's just trying to get away from anybody there. Cider's out. Oh, God, we lost control there. Woo, boy. That was almost, that would be a big, devastating loss. Erickson Eck gets drilled. Bobby Ryan fighting with... His man, Tanev, to Kachuk. 20 seconds. Philip Hironik. There's Zucker. Out to Hironik. It's still in the open ice. 10 seconds for the Red Wings. Bobby Ryan is hoping that Eric Sinek can get one more shot away. Kachuk might end up getting that shot. And that's going to be a power play. Oh, my God. So they'll have four on three going into the overtime period here. Philip Hironik. He laid out to stop that one, but it's going to be four on three in the OT. Calgary put us in a bad way. There you go. We're going to OT. I can't believe it. Unfortunately, the way this is pushing us back, we might not be able to get to the Edmonton game because it's already 3.30. I got a football game to watch at four. So with this going to OT, we'll see. We might end it here and just pick it up with the next stream. So we go into overtime now. Four to four. And it's four on three for the Flames. Flurry with the save. And we can't really play defensive because there's not a lot of time. We got to just go. Goudreau, Monahan, 
He's fighting with Stetcher. Stetcher's going to win that one. Oh, here comes Franz Nielsen. And Nielsen tried to backhand it. Nice save by Markstrom. Stetcher doing a nice job. Monahan, another good save by Mark Andre Fleury. I guess that's a slow five minutes. I thought it was going to go a little quicker than that, but and it's going. Monahan covered up by Fleury. 407 in the overtime. Calgary and Detroit. Jonathan Taves. Face off. One by Goudreau. Backlund. Pad save by Fleury. Backlund has it again. Fleury makes another save. Here comes Nemeth. Up to Cider. Cider trying to work his way back in. Goudreau passes it up to Backlund. Backlund, another good save by Fleury. He's got to have almost 60 saves by now in this game. Here comes Cider. Cider with the pass. There's the goal and there's the win for the Detroit Red Wings. We are going to hang on. We're going to take the victory. Was that Nemeth that got the game winner, Patrick Nemeth? No, I don't believe. It might have been Merrill. Who got the game winner? Let's see. It was Cider with a fantastic pass. What number is that? That's a. That's 22. That is Nemeth. Yeah, so Patrick Nemeth is going to get the game clincher here. And you know what? We're in a good mood for finally getting a win. They got 58 shots on goal. We're going to go ahead and play the Edmonton game. What the heck? If we miss a little bit of the 4 o'clock game, we miss a little bit of the 4 o'clock game. All right. Sim through it. 26 and 21. Where are we in regards to the... I know as far as these standings, as far as the playoffs. No playoff tree yet. I don't like that this is considered team stats. These are standings, not stats. So in the... Or no, we're in the East now, these days. The Red Wings... So we'd be the eighth seed, assuming this is the, how the playoffs. I don't know if they're just going in order. Because I know it's like each division leader gets a bid and then it's all wild cards. But we'd still be in the playoff hunt. So we're in there. We're staying in there. 26 and 21. Let's see if we can keep this, uh, this streak going. What, what's the asking about the parking lot here? I don't like doing all this crap. I wish well, I could just be a coach. I don't want to do all this, this maintenance stuff. But I don't think we have an option. And we don't have any funds, so we can't do anything anyway. Is there any way you can just be a coach? It's like this is the only option they give you. Hey, nice win there. So we got three in a row going for us. That's big business. So three wins in a row, 27 and 21. And we got another 27-win team coming up. It's Edmonton. Uh, Yeah, I'm not worried about the draft right now. Play the game. Uh, Yes. Ish. Here we go, Edmonton and Detroit. What Edmonton options we got? We haven't given anyone an alternate yet. The blue, ooh. The old reverse retro. Do you like Edmonton wearing the orange at home or do you like the blue? They wore blue back in the day, now they wear the orange. I guess they're trying to differentiate themselves from the Islanders who wear blue. I like the orange. It'll stand out. We're just going with the normal unis all the way around. So here we go. Detroit and Edmonton. Connor McDavid and company. K 
Can we make it four wins in a row? Rogers Place, Edmonton, Alberta. There's Mark Andre Fleury. You got to look at Leon Drysettle. And in goal, it's Miko Kostinen. And Mark Andre Fleury on the other side. So Kostinen versus Mark Andre Fleury. And here we go. Edmonton and Detroit. Tyler Bertuzzi. Uh oh. Anthony Mantha. Mantha. Oh, how about that? First shot of the game. Anthony Mantha gets the goal right past. Right past Miko. And it's the goal. And Anthony Mantha's got 21 on the year. Kaskinen just. <laughs> watched it go blow right past in the first shot and Miko Kaskinen just let it eat him up one shot on goal one goal Detroit over Edmonton hey we got a face off win let's go for two goals how about we get another oh it bounced up Kaskinen didn't know where it was for a moment there's Connor McDavid hey why don't you come to Detroit Connor we'll take you look at these winners Anthony Mantha, our goal leader. We hadn't seen much on the first two games. He's coming out in this one. First shot, first goal. Uh-oh, bouncing back. Not sure who's got possession now. There we go. Now Red Wings taking it. It is Anthony Mantha again. And Mantha from the side taking the shot. Save by Kaskinen. Heronik, Chalowski, and company trying to do their part on defense. Anthony Mantha taking it again. He's had the puck a lot so far. Joel Erickson Eck, the dish out to Zucker. Zucker gets beat up a little bit. Erickson Eck into the zone. Here comes Zucker passing it back. Wide open net, completely missed by Bobby Ryan. It's going to go all the way around, picked up by Fleury. Fleury's going to dip it over, and then here comes Joel Erickson Eck. And Eck trying to get around. He's going to get... No, I thought he was going to go to Bobby Ryan again. We were trying to go to Bobby Ryan, but you know how this game is with their passing. And Chalowski. There's Ennis. Ennis loses it. Shot way off target. Nemestikov. Oh, nice shot on goal. I don't know who that was. It was 44. That's Zach Kassinen. Nemestikov. Does he have the speed? He's going to cut inside. He gets hit. Fabry shot off target. Kirill Kaprizov gets checked. Fabry can't hang on to it. Man, what a... What a furious first period here. Detroit. Edmonton. Bear. What a name, Bear. Ethan Bear. Fabry. I wish people would just go. Why are they stopping? Slap shot and saved by Kakinen. Kaskinen getting some nice saves after that first stop, after the first goal went right past him. Possession with McGinn up to Jones. Benson able to get the shot away to Flurry and Flurry makes the save. There you see the center, Leon Drysdell, doing good things for Edmonton. Little Drysdell, Bear, McGinn, back to Bear. McGinn has it coming up. Darren Helm eventually ended up in Marc Andre Fleury's glove. Here comes Valtteri Filppula and Darren Helm, and he's going to get called for an offsides. Halfway through the first, we got a one nothing lead. All road games in this one. A 
Why is he? I don't see. I'm not hitting the button to make them pass. And Cider just whipped the puck into the side of the board. And now look at this. Now they got a near breakaway. Oh my god. That was all on the freaking game right there. I did not do this. I'm telling you, if I'm lying, I'm flying. That goal was all on the game being stupid. I did not do this. I passed it. I did not pass it a second time. That's all in the game doing a double pass, and then they took it right down and scored. That's freaking ridiculous. Jamie McGinn, congratulations. Is anyone... I always got to look on Reddit. NHL 21 Reddit. Double pass. Here's a thread. It says someone said it's passing completely broken in this game. Yes, it is. I'll pass it to the player I want to pass it to, and it'll just go to random places. I've brought that up in replays in the past, where I'll show the replay, and the line is pointing to the guy I want to pass it to, and they'll just pass it to whoever they want it to. Um, yeah. <sighs> That's the only hockey game we got. That's what happens. Only one peep only one company's designing games. They can do whatever the heck they want. I want to play hockey. This is all we got. Fantastic. MLB the show only makes baseball. I mean there's like those arcade baseball games on the Switch, but you let peep only one company design a game. This is what you get. Great job. Whoever decided that was a good idea. Anyway, we'll try to bounce back from that. Bertuzzi, uh oh. Jonathan Taves, there we go. How about that? Take that. Bad game physics. Jonathan Taves with his 12th of the year. I need a banana after this and reward myself. Let's get more. Let's keep this going. Come on. Keep this going. Zach Kassinen. Oh, Kassinen got the shot away. Nice save by Flurry. Jonathan Taves. That's not where I passed it to. About to pull this disc out and break it in half. Dry Zettel. Casinen. Oh, good lord, that hit. And Larson's going to get the goal. Ooh. Adam Larson, second goal of the year for the defenseman. All kinds of traffic. Flurry just couldn't see it. Yeah, Flurry just didn't even see who had it. That's the bottom line on that one. Adam Larson. Um. Okay. Well, there's a save there by Mark Andre Fleury. Two thirteen to go in period number one here.
Face off one by the wings. Chalowski, I'm not hitting the button to pass it. I'm about to go freaking crazy right now. At least we almost got a goal out of it. Like, this game's just passing the puck on its own. And I'm about to lose my mind. Live! On this stream. And I'm not the only one to have these issues, because I found the Reddit thread. If you find a thread on Reddit, you know it's not just you. We're actually winning face-offs. Oh, left right out in front there. McGinn, we haven't seen anything from Connor McDavid. He's either not been on the ice or we've just held him in check. Neil got a shot away. Mark andre Fleury put his pad on it. Benson, you hear the time ticking away. One final shot, it barely got away. John Merrill's shot was tipped, and that is going to do it for period number one. Red Wings. 7-7 seven, seven shots on goal. 2-2 two two game. Let's go into the second here from Edmonton. All-Star weekend. I assume we get to play the All-Star game. There's not an option for it on the calendar. But it would be nice because, you know, I love the All-Star game. I'm a sucker for the All-Star games. Well, to represent the... What are we, the Met... No, not the Metro. It would be the, the South or the... These realignments, the Atlantic, the Pacific, the Metropolitan. Oh, a delayed penalty. Come on. For that hit, are they going to call boarding on that? Someone touch it. There we go. I think they're going to call boarding. We'll see. All the hits, they've been laying our guys out in the open ice. It's Anthony Mantha getting called. Oh, it's a trip. Come on. He barely touched him. Darnell Nurse got tripped up by Mantha. So we're on the power play here. Try to kill this one off. Stetcher just clears it. Kaskinen. Dumps it into Neal. Here comes Neal. Franz Nielsen. To Merrill. Merrill getting hit. Somebody clear this thing. Good lord, so they can do all that, but we barely touch a guy, and he goes down, and we get called for the tripping. Flurry, good lord. They were aggressive on that one. The goal. Dominic Cahoon. With the goal. They were aggressive. Boy, they did not go away. Yeah, Mantha. Dominic Cahoon's going to get the goal to put them up ahead. Wow. All right, let's try to regroup. We already got jobbed out of one goal. There's Connor McDavid. Oh, he got tripped up. Call a penalty, right? Oh, my God. They are going to call a penalty. Oh, my God. I'm hating this already. This is brutal. The golden boy got tripped. I guess that was a bit of a tripping, but jeez. All right, let's try to do this thing again. Oh, Nemeth's clear out did not work at all. Nemeth tried to clear it in Gaten Haas with one stick. Knocked it down, got a good shot away, but Flurry denied it. There we go. Dry Zettel to Haas. Haas loses it and going the other way. I put some more pressure on on Kaskin and Haas. All 
All right, got a minute left in this thing. Cleared it away. Uh oh. Oh, I thought we were gonna. Oh, maybe. Oh no, I thought we were gonna be able to take a short-handed shot at it. Victor Nemeth. And Nemeth, come on, guys, get out of the way. Patrick Nemeth, rather. My Victor's and my Patrick's all mixed up. Good lord, that took way too long just to get that across the blue line. Alright, we're about to clear this thing off. Well, surviving this one. Or eat cider. Connor McDavid. His shot is deflected and on the rebound is put in the net. And for the second time today, it's a goal by Dominic Cahoon. Four to two Edmonton. I think there's too many goals in this. Uh, I, I definitely got to reevaluate the sliders because it's rare that you see this many goals in a hockey game. Every game we've played, it's either been four or five goals. Oh, well, they're looking for number five right now. Nicely done by our defense. Bertuzzi. Oh, Bertuzzi. Almost made a run at it. Covered up by Flurry. We saw Pooley RV a second ago. Jesse Pooley RV. All those J's in his name. Zucker. Up ice. Zucker. Saved. Kaskinen. Miko Kaskinen. 12.37 to go here. Period number two. Good lord. Way too easy for Edmonton. Gaten Haas. Getting that goal. Number five for Oil Country. Oh, Oil Country. Oh, boy. Where's our defense? Come on now. And that one goes up and over. What's our shots on goal? We were even for a while. 15 to 8. It's not terrible, but they're beating us for sure. Five goals. You have the great Mark andre Fleury in there. Can't stop nothing. Can't stop. Won't stop. I mean, well, nobody on defense is doing anything. Finally, Nemestikov. He's got some speed. Saved. Kaprizov. We got to get back to hockey town. All this home, this road home cooking. Not doing anyone any good. Another shot onto Flurry, and Flurry makes the save. Joel Erickson Eck. Oh, come on. There's like such a lack of effort from the defense.
Another, like, no one's doing anything. Not even fun to play right now. And look at that pass! Oh my god, are you kidding me? What is happening? Like, this is the, like, the first two games were... Look at where I'm locked on to. I am locked on to this player. I pa like look what I am locked on and at the last minute look at this look at this What is this Is NHL 2022 better than this? Cuz I'm seriously about to just This might be the last time we play any hockey on here. This sucks. I don't know what that is. This is terrible. I'm so tired of EA. Anyway. Chalosky. He gets just destroyed. Here's Jones. No defense. Flurry's got to break his back just to make the save. Oh, look at that. A pass was made. I didn't know this game now. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, Darren Helm. Couldn't get it to go. I believe that was a double save by Kaskinen. Yeah, one save. He, Darren Helm picked it up on the deflection and tried it again. We're actually winning faceoffs because we had to drop the sliders down to five. We had to drop the sliders to five. That's how broken this is, just to win any face-offs. Nicely done by Stetcher. How about another one of these goals from Anthony Mantha? Take a shot! Good lord! What is this? Oh, I'm furious right now. What is this? What is this? His leg like broke. This is a PS4 game, folks. 60 bucks. Well, this one just pushed me over the edge, huh? Pushing me over the edge. Here comes Bertuzzi. Oh, he got the shot away. I'm surprised we can actually shoot the puck. Bertuzzi didn't break his leg trying to shoot the puck there. Asaf picked up Puliarvi. And someone just got laid out. Real Kaprizov gets the goal. All right. We're going to try to make a run at this thing. Kirill Kaprizov. We've had a couple of nice goals with just the slap shot variety, which we haven't really been able to do all year. Kirill Kaprizov. Smacking it right on past Miko Kaskinen. Three to five, Edmonton. Nurse. McGinn. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Nice job by Fleur. We got a minute to go in the second here. Here comes Fabry. 
And Fabry gets elbowed. Call an elbowing or something on them. Oh, we get a million penalties. They don't get anything. And Kaskinen covers it up for the save. And that'll do it for period number two, folks. Hey, did you hear that? 10% off some burger restaurant if you got your ticket stub. So there you go. We're two out. We're not completely out of this thing. Face off one by Detroit. Here we go. Trying to make something happen. Oh my god. Four guys right there. And nobody throws a stick out there. Nobody makes any effort. It's a hat trick. By Cahoon. One, two, three, four. What is this? What is this? Twenty-two, Patrick Nemeth, throw your stick out there, man. Knock the puck down. Six to three. Yeah, we're gonna try to mess with the sliders next time we play, because there's way too many goals. Flurry's not that bad. Every game we've played so far has had five or six goals. The defense isn't doing anything on our side. We're going to try to look up some sliders. By the time next time we play. Maybe I'll be less furious at this game. If they score again, I'm probably just going to call it because I'm already to my wit's end. It's a 4 o'clock, which means the football games starting the afternoon games. Oof. Pulajari. That's almost another goal. Yes, see Pulajari. Puli RV, Puli Jari, Puli RV. Yes, see, Puli RV. When I'm saying the name so fast, I butcher him so much because I'm trying to play and talk and just go quick, but sometimes I say Puli Jari, it's obviously Puli Ari, Puli RV. Um. Okay, Bobby Ryan, just ignore the puck. There's the Mestikov. Chasing down Larson. Uh, I don't know which way Larson's going. I think he completely lost track of where he was going. And the Mestikov, it's on the open ice. And Kaskinen covers it up. Wow. I'm going to get my football game started at least. So I'm going to be half watching the football game, half fishing, finishing this disaster. Why is Edmonton just going backwards? What are they doing here? Hope you guys can enjoy it nonetheless. Maybe it's fun for you. I know some of my favorite Game Grumps episodes, the one where Aaron loses his mind. It didn't quite get that bad, but... I mean, there's some frustrating stuff in this game, and unfortunately, it's the only hockey game we got. There's no other options. It's either this or don't play hockey. Or play, like, 2K10, which the last hockey game I played before this one, at least regularly, was 2K10. And that was one of the last ones. Maybe you guys remember from my old 
YouTube page. Like I said, we'll be getting all that old stuff up on Patreon eventually. But I tried. I tried NHL 12. I didn't pass it there. I tried NHL 15. I hated both of those on the 360. They were terrible. This is the first one I've liked in a while from EA, but... Oh, boy. Liked in a while, and, uh... Put a big asterisk on that after this game. So, ten minutes... Uh, I don't know where anybody is. There's Connor McDavid. I know where he is. And Connor McDavid hasn't even beaten us. That's the worst part. It's everyone else. See, how can I get, like, this doesn't seem fair. Anytime I'm going down the ice, I'm getting, like, triple teamed. And I can't do anything. Anytime they go down the ice, it's, like, wide open. And it's like that on every game. It's not just this game. Not just the Edmonton game. I can barely. How many times can I get down the ice and barely do anything? Look at them. Well, there they get that. We made a hit there, but. Look at that. I can't do anything. I'm getting hit, getting hit, getting hit. There's three guys around me. There's a million guys around me. Now watch when they go down there. Compare it to when they go down. It's going to be a completely different story. Yeah, we're definitely going to be fooling with the sliders after this game, I believe. Maybe testing on the All-Star break if we can even play that. That was one thing I hated about the 2K10 game is they didn't have the All-Star game in there because it was an Olympic year. And so they just, like, took the All-Star game out. I was like, I want to play that. You guys remember I made my own at Soldier Field. I had to create teams and just make my own All-Star game. Puck laid right out in front, Kaskin in. Easily making the save. So yeah, this one's winding down. Definitely looks like we're not taking this one anytime soon. Hope you guys can enjoy the stream nonetheless. If you have any tips for anyone that's maybe had these similar frustrations as me, if you know any good sliders, let me know. Oh my god. See? Went right down the ice. Nobody put any pressure on them. Nobody touched them. Alright. I think that's it for today. We're just going to skip to the end. Uh, yes. Perfect. Calling it now. Sorry if you guys wanted to see the end of it, but that's... This game's really annoying me right now. We lost seven to three. Um, so yeah, can we not play the All Star game? It's saying our next game is Toronto. Uh, let me look up this real quick. NHL twenty one GM mode play All Star game. The All-Star game doesn't exist in NH in EA's NHL. No one gets selected. So they took the All-Star game out of the game. <sighs> All right. We'll see if we revisit uh, this game again at any time. I love hockey, but this sucks. There's no All-Star game. I love the All-Star game. I mean, how many years did we have to wait for them to put that back in Madden? Uh, we broke our promise. What promise did we break? You promised to get me a new defenseman. What do you have to say about this? Oh, yeah. Um, that's right. I forgot we were supposed to get a defenseman, but we didn't find anyone we liked. So I'll just apologize. 
I completely forgot about that. I'm no longer willing to. Oh, every every defenseman we looked for. Good lord, that's bad. Every defenseman that we looked for. Remember when we did the whole search for the defenseman, and it was like there weren't any good defensemen out there that we could like trade for anything. Oh, whatever. Ugh. All right. Well, we got a little rage induced there, but. We're going to keep powering through. We'll try to, I guess, have fun with it as much as we can. Remember when we, lo we looked and, like, all our defensemen, like, we're in the 80s, and we couldn't get any other defensemen that were higher than that because of the salary cap. It's like, we couldn't do much better than that. There weren't many other better defensemen that weren't going to put us over the cap. So, anyway... If you have any advice, let me know. The other thing that really sucks is you can't, you have to do all this GM crap. I wish we didn't have to do that. But anyway, we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for being here for the Banana Gate. We'll catch you guys next time.